So I posted on Twitter this great video. Well, the, I shared this great video of the Falcon 9 launch. Let's just watch part of it right, right here. Um, I can watch the whole thing. So we see this nice view. This is a, there was an on video, it didn't have this Bloomberg thing in there, but I found it on YouTube too. Uh, and so we see the Falcon 9 launch. And it's like, hey, look, that's a perfect example for video analysis. So I am going to do that. I want to find out the acceleration of this rocket. And I'm going to step you through it. So we're going to do it together. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to get a video analysis program. So if you search for tracker video analysis, then you're going to find this link. And this is the program that I use. So there's, there's a couple ways you can analyze uh, videos, but Tracker is free and it runs on Windows, runs on Mac, Linux, everything. So I, I really like it. It's got a lot of features, uh, and so we're going to use this. Uh, so the next thing you're going to want to do is find a way to download the video. I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but if you Google it, you surely can figure that out. Um, so with that, I'm going to start up Tracker Video. I've already installed Tracker Video. So let's start that up. Tracker. Launching. Okay, so here is my video analysis. Let's just make this window the right size. Okay, now I do have the video uh, over here. Uh, I'm going to just drag that in right there. And it'll take a second to load, and then there we go. Okay, so now the, the very first thing I'm going to do is kind of edit this video. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't want to look at the whole thing. I just want to look at that one part right here. I like this. And the other thing I like in here, it shows the speed and the altitude, and we can kind of check that. Uh, so then that adjustment is with that first little marker right there. You can also click the video frame up here, and it brings up this window, and you can manually edit which uh, starting and ending frame you have and the time step. I'm going to assume the video is in real time. Okay, so there's my rocket. So now the next thing I'm going to do is add the coordinate system. You can put the end of the frame too, but I don't really care for right now. So let's just put this axis over here. And the next thing we need to do is to scale the video. So I need to know how big something in here is. This is not so easy, okay? If I go over here, I found this picture, okay? It's not the best, but these are sizes for the Falcon 9. And this looks like right here to here is about 40 meters. And I think that's the bottom of that black line. So uh, you can't really see the black line right there, but so let's go back to, see that black line? I'm gonna say that distance is 40 meters and I might be wrong. So up here, I'm gonna say new calibration stick. And then I'm just gonna hold down the shift click key and click on the top and the bottom. And that says 68, but I don't want it, I want it to be 40. Okay, so that's my size. Okay, now, uh, actually one other thing. If you look at this video, uh, things kind of move a little bit. So let's pick a location. See that little mark right there? Now if the frame, if the camera moves, I can adjust that. So up here, coordinate system, fixed origin, I'm not gonna fix that. And let's just step through the video and see how much it moves. I think it moved a little bit. I don't think it's going to be moving that much that it's going to matter. Okay, I don't think I'm going to move it. It might move. It, I think it jiggles a little bit, but let's just go back to the beginning. Okay, so now I have my scale. Uh, I'm going to create a point mass. And now all I have to do is mark some location on the rocket. And I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. And I'm just going to mark shift, hold on the shift key, and it turns into a marker point. And I just need to click on the top of that. See, and I'm going to do that for each frame. It's not moving very much at the beginning, so, but it is moving. See that? Okay, so this is the boring part. But I have to be bored, so you have to be bored. So I can tell you a story if you want. Um, I'm not sure what that story would be, but and I'm, I'm not going to do this whole thing because I just need a little bit of data to show you how to do it. That's really what I'm doing. I think this is a cool video. I like to do stuff, and I assume that you like to do stuff too. So how's your day so far? My day is great. I mean, the SpaceX launches are pretty awesome. If you want to watch some stuff, uh, 
the landing of the boosters is so cool. Uh, Smarter Every Day, uh, Destin from Smarter Every Day has a video that I like where he had a, a camera guy with uh, microphones in his ears so that if you listen to the launch you and with earphones, you can hear what it sounds like if you were actually there. It's really cool. I highly recommend that. Uh, you'll notice over here that this is giving my me the X position as a function of time and it looks really crazy because uh, it's just a very small scale. I'm, I'm clicking a little bit different in the X direction each time because uh, it's hard to get it perfectly and that's okay because I'm looking that's just a meter difference I'm off it's not a big deal okay now the other thing here is that uh, as this thing launches as it moves up it gets further away from the camera so if you try to analyze this for too long it's not gonna work let's move up a little bit I'm just gonna get uh, until it gets to the top of the tower which isn't the top of the tower because they're different distances but you know what I mean you could rescale the video based on the size of the rocket. Uh, that wouldn't be too difficult to do, but it would be tedious. Okay, so now I, I'm having trouble seeing it right now, but I think it's going okay. I think I'm going to stop. Okay, so that's enough data. I have all the data right here, and you can paste that into your favorite plotting program, program if you like, but I'm going to plot it right here. So I'm going to change this to the Y position and check that out. If I right click on it and go to Analyze, then it will bring up a new window over here. And there's my Y as a function of time. Okay, It looks fairly linear, but it, I think it is indeed accelerating. Um, so let's click up here the Analyze button, Curve Fit, and fit a parabola. So there you can see the parabola is fitting the data and I'm getting, uh, it gives a fit equation of a t squared plus b t plus c, where a is 1.34. So this is a lot like the following equation. Let me write the equation because because um, I should have done this beforehand, but I didn't. Okay, so here's my, this is this power uh, keynote. I can write an equation. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do this. Okay, let's say so y equals y0 plus v y0 t plus one half. Oops, I did that wrong. A t squared. So that's the equation of a particle that's accelerating at a constant acceleration. And you can see here the term in front of the t squared is one half a. So that means that this term is one half a. So 1.34 is one half a. So the acceleration would be twice that. So 2.68 meters per second squared. So that's not super high acceleration, but you know, it's still an acceleration. And so I think that's pretty cool. Okay, now let's go back over here one more thing that you can do. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to go up here to zoom to fit and then I'm going to scroll back and right here this says the acceleration. No, this says the speed in what units is that? I think that's in um, kilometers per hour maybe. But you could collect time data and if you want just write down the, the time frame right here and then the speed and then skip forward 10 frames and do it again and then plot speed versus time and see if you can get the acceleration from that and compare that to this and then that says are these data do they compare at all I mean they should they won't be exactly the same because of measurement errors and stuff but but there you go that that's how you do a video analysis of something called awesome like this Falcon 9 SpaceX Falcon 9 launch okay there you go have fun with that Talk to you later.